grand rising to my king queen gods and goddesses it's your boy terrible one star and i gotta break it down to the virgo sun moon rising north node and venus now look this is a disclaimer this is a general reading. If it resonates for you, hit the like, comment, subscribe button. If it do not resonate for you at this moment, I may not be the reader for you or I may not be the healer for you as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I just want to say the title of this one is You Make Your Own Outcome, okay? Now, Virgo, it may be time for you to get rid of spiritual parasites, okay? Or parasites in general. Now, a parasite is something that got to live off something else or use it as a host, okay? Now, when I was turning around, and I'm going to be honest, I was uh, when I was listening to a podcast earlier, you know, I like to get a lot of inspirational knowledge when, I, when I'm not on here. So, when I was listening, it was a... Uh, uh, a sitcom with Dr. B. Sears, he was basically talking about uh, parasites as well, so shout out to him as well. But he was also talking about uh, about the way how you eat, drink, and the things that we have around us are parasites, okay? So Virgo, when he broke it down in, in kind of words, just paraphrasing, uh, now I just feel like when you make your outcome, it may be somebody who may be draining your energy or it may be some obstacles that's draining you or mental capabilities may be draining dealing with the foods that you may eat or the fluids you may drink or the people you may be around, etc., etc. So, okay, Virgo. So it's also just letting me know to tell you, Virgo, don't become stressed or mentally strained, okay? You got to focus on journaling and expressing yourself more freely. Some of you may be doing this, Virgo. Virgo, some of you not, if you're not, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Uh, you can say whatever you feel like and just say it correctly. You don't have to be uplifting and anything like that, even though when it may be hot tempered emotions that you may be going through or it be flared up and you're not feeling your way, just sit down and express or journal. Uh, if you can't talk to somebody by expressing yourself, write down and journal it. Burn it. Nobody ain't got to know what's going on between you and the universe, okay? Now, um, I also want to say, Spirit Woman, to let you know people can mess, mess you up mentally uh, or your mental thoughts. Like, uh, uh, maybe your environment can be draining or it can get, be a parasite to what's going on around you, okay? Now, mentally, if you're not thinking right, it could be some foods that you may be eating or you may just need to switch your eating habits. Not only that, your thinking your thinking status or in your physicality status. So some of you Virgos may not be going in a full balance mode, okay? You may be getting a lot of spirituality but not enough nutrients for the other one, okay? So 666 could be very significant for you if you've seen that as as well uh, as well not only that reoccurring cycles are now coming to an end for you Virgo so I feel like some of you finally done understood the cycles that, that went through in your life and I feel like these are long-term lessons that just not finally coming to a close maybe some of you in your adolescence or maybe some of you in your mid late 20s on up to recent okay now not only that don't be mentally frustrated face the obstacle and learn from it that's why i said the cycle may be ending the spirit woman to let you know because you uh even though you don't went through the frustration you are now becoming one and you, you are now accepting to move more freely and flowing and spirit has ended that cycle for 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 you okay now um where are you at right now in your life virgo it's only temporary you got to remember that you got to say it to yourself this is only temporary this universe and spirit is feeling guide me and lead me up okay so now i feel like you got to keep pushing till you see that great outcome come about don't give up on yourself even when times where you feel tired and you just want to slack off even when times come and you just just don't want to do it keep pushing a baby step is better than no step at all i didn't say take a break sometimes you may need to take a break virgo and get some uh you know, get that energy uh, refreshed or, you know, like I'm trying to say, you know what I'm trying to say. You're trying to get to get yourself together so you can go back out there and do what you got to do. You may need to relax, okay? Not only that, I just want to tell you, maybe some important messages may be coming in through some of you Virgos, maybe through email, maybe through text. So make sure you check your emails to some of you, okay? And it could be dealing with a job or a potential uh, growth or something in some type of way. It could be financial growth for you dealing with a job or it can be, be something in the email. Just check it. Okay, not only that, uh, Spirit want me to let you know, stay away from gossip. Anybody who is not thinking positive, it's time for you to step away, okay? Yes, this is going to be a lonely moment for you, Virgo, but Spirit want me to get you to understand that you got to go through this lonely moment so you can still get the blessings for this next occurring cycle that's coming up when you pass the test, okay? But become more connected and in tune with Spirit guides and angels in the universe for yourself. And again, the spiritual parasites are normally... Uh, 
maybe some you got to watch some of the readers okay now no offense i'm not talking about nobody i'm not being defensive not in that type of way and that's even including with myself sometimes virgo you may need to uh jump off a of social media for a minute even tarot for a minute even with me for a minute and, and sometimes just take that time out to stay off of social media to get your mind more balanced so you can do the task or do the goals that you have in your mind to fully be accomplished i mean thank every single one of you you know being on here but you know i want to be like a doctor to you i want to i want to help you heal spirit want me to help you heal and let me say it properly spirit would like for me to help you heal so you can be better than than you was before okay every day is a growing process not only that uh just keep pushing virgo i believe in you and i you know what we do over here i believe in you all the time but let's go ahead and see what's going on um again my name is terry one star hit that like comment subscribe button shout out to all my new watchers new subscribers, new viewers, A1 Day 1 G stars, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I just want to thank every single one of you. So let's go ahead and go into meditation where we breathe in positive energy and we release out all that negativity for at least about 30, 45 seconds. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Breathe in, Virgo. Positive energy we're breathing in towards the highest good. And exhale all the baggage from the day, all the worry, the stress, the whatever. We just let it go. Good, Virgo. Breathe in. Positive energy, positive light towards your highest good. Feel the peace, the tranquility, the prosperity in you. And exhale. All the negativity, all the concerns, all the stress, all the worries, we let it go. One more time, Virgo. Breathe in. And breathe out. Spirit guys in the universe, we just thank you for everybody who come on the channel right now. Not only Virgo, cross watchers, and everyone. Uh, please give them the understanding, the clarity, and the blueprint towards their highest good in this reading. Not only that, anything that's not for their highest good, please give them the blueprint and we banish that away, okay? Not only that, uh, anybody who wish any harm or negativity towards, towards Virgo or anybody in this channel, we're going to return that back to sender and return it back to the no void. void, okay? I say, I say, I'm in. Let's see what we have for you, Virgo, okay? Spirit guys in the universe, what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? Can I get one more, please? Asha. All right, Virgo. All right, let's see what we got right now. I saw the main energy is still in the same like yesterday. So uh, some of you, if you are new, check the uh, reading that I done yesterday because we still got the five of pentacles basically being in reverse. So that just basically letting us know that you are starting to move on to something hopeful and more positive, which is good, Virgo. This is the current energy. Now, uh, this is our energy. So I feel like some of you may be changing. Some of you may be out in nature. Some of you may be grounding. Some of you may just be uh, uplifting your vibration, just feeling good and positive, okay? But I feel like that you uh whatever poor decisions in the past you done came to a pure pure decision and outcome on whatever that's going on with your main energy right now but it is clarified by the seven of swords in reverse the seven of wands in reverse and the king of wands could be dealing with a leo sagittarius aries um that's very heavy for the moment right now and i do see a little uh slightly maybe in your placement or this can be your mental capabilities libra um aries air sign gemini Okay, now with the seven of swords basically being in reverse, it just let me know, Virgo, that something may be coming to surface, something may be coming to the light, someone may be wanting to be coming clean, that it may be stressing them out or with some type of concerns, okay? Not only that, I feel like this person that uh why you changing, uh you could have had some bitter ways that this person could have had some bitter ways, take it as a resonate, or something, some type of energy could have been very bitter and uptight. Let's break it down a little bit more, okay? So let's go ahead. So with the seven of swords basically being in reverse again this is air air energy uh communication or you know mental logical thinking and this is libra aquarius gemini energy okay so even with the seven of 
Swords basically being in reverse Forgive me I can't see it So I'm sitting there Looking at uh, Again someone may be Coming clean Or you finally moving forward And changing from the progress Of you being stressed out Or any type of concerns Or doubts With the seven of wands Basically being in reverse as well I feel like the actions That you are taking Even though You know The changes that you are making Even though you are starting To be more enlightened And understand that Mentally You put in the hard work Now You moving with the hard work But again Again, with the King of Wands basically being in reverse, is letting us know not only uh, you're not you're not taking initiative. Cause when I see Wands, Wands is uh, especially with the court uh, the court suits. Um, I always feel them coming in very very fast, but especially with them with this King of Wands basically being in reverse, I feel like you may be coming more of a free spirit, or somebody may be uh, changing from their ego, or maybe changing uh, not only that, maybe changing from being so so uptight. So let's go ahead and do a little bit more clarification okay virgo spirit guys in the universe what do we have for virgo sun moon rising north node and venus for clarification what do we have ashe ashe let's see what we got virgo all right now again you may be coming for it you know i like to break it down so y'all can understand so forgive me if i do say it a lot of times so forgive me but i want you to see every avenue of this because we all virgos and this is what we like okay so with the five of pentacles again basically being in reverse you're changing you're moving forward you're progressing even though someone come to clean someone's seeing the light uh not only that again when i sit up there and tell you about the swords that is turning around um now you're progressing on okay but you finally taking initiative and actions with the page of wands basically being upright and that's only letting us also know that it's a new way that you may be expressing yourself even though you uh may have a little concerns and a little doubts and a little stress about it and it could be about a potential lover or it could be some type of balance that you prefer but i feel like right now you know uh you're not moving the way that you want to okay i feel like again with the king of wands this one give me every time i feel like not only you are pushing the way that you need to go, Virgo. Okay, spirit is shifting me. Hold on, let me look at this because spirit want me to go a whole different way. And not only with this love, right? And I feel like even though it's not taking the actions the way you want it to be, you're very uptight and bitter, uh, or someone could be very uptight and bitter, okay, Virgo? And not only that, it's clarified by the King of Swords basically being in reverse as well. So that's just letting us know um, mentally and logically someone is probably in for all greed, or maybe you've been changing to move around, uh, move away from people who've been greedy. Maybe you moving around from people, could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Again, like I said, now I do see more of a balance between uh, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Gemini as well, okay? So again, mentally, you still taking the thoughts. So uh, you coming clean and understanding and what's going on. You're taking a new way of expressing yourself with the concern, doubts, and stress, okay? Could be dealing about an ex that you've been dealing with or a potential match or a potential you trying to balance yourself out the way you need to be, even though things are not coming out the way that you want to. And even though things may be uptight and very... Bitter. Cause like when I'm sitting up, I keep saying bitter because the way how his face, it looks very, very bitter. Okay, Virgo. Not only that, I feel like you, you like you still becoming a free spirit doing what you're doing, but uh, again, like just mentally, you starting to be not be more stern. I feel like somebody's being very untrustworthy, or you may have this perception that's going on where you just can't trust nobody at the same time as well. Okay, Virgo. All right. So let's get some. Let's go ahead and get some. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some messages. Spirit guys in the universe, what are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Northern Venus? All right, so I feel like Virgo right now, maybe you're not loving with condition the way you need to. And I feel like maybe um, some of you may need to do some meditation or maybe uh, you need to start loving yourself even a little bit more, okay? I feel like you're doing the loving, but I feel like it's not loving with the conditions that you want, okay? You also may uh, may need to see the truth, Virgo, uh, in this change. Now, if you go deep down and see the change of what's happening and get, because uh, what we're doing in this one, we're getting rid of the parasite, okay? So remember, that's why the title is basically talking about that. Uh, and I'll tell you more about the parasite what's going on you got to protect yourself okay protect your heart chakra okay no matter what is going on for you virgo now let's keep pushing let's see what some of the challenges that is going on also spirit guys in the universe what else do we have for virgo some rising up known and venus for a challenge which is change what are the challenges that virgo must face which is change i'm sorry what are the challenges virgo must face which is change 
Yeah, Virgo. All right, we got the Ace of Pentacles basically being the main energy, okay, for, for a challenge. So I feel like whatever this new opportunity do, new opportunity that may come in, you're going to have to watch because it got the Emperor in reverse, the Two of Cups in the reverse, and the Two of Pentacles basically being upright. So I feel like with this new resource, right, I feel like everything, it's a new opportunity for, coming for you, a new path. Not only that, it's going to give you some, you're going to give you abundance, but you got to take that leap of faith, Virgo, okay, because it is clarified again, the Emperor, the Two of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles basically upright. So when I see the Emperor basically being in reverse, it's letting me know some, you may be trying to control yourself or or maybe trying to overrule some type of action that you want to do or maybe some type of lack of action. So that's why you got to take that leap of faith, okay, Virgo? So once you take that leap of faith, and it could be dealing with something that may not be matching everything that you want to be going on, or you may need to take that leap of faith and try something new, try something different. Because when I see this, it may be a challenge of a separation for some of you if you're in a relationship, or it may be a challenge where things is not coming, uh, coming the way that it need. It may be a part. Part, okay, but I feel like even with this choice that may be com coming in, I feel like intuitively you can feel the energy's not coming out, and you need to watch the energy like that and learn how to transmute it. Okay, and how you transmute negative energy into positive, you can always think of negative things, but you do not have to act on it or speak on it. Okay, you always change it for your highest good. Okay, Virgo, but even with this two of pinnacle basically being a right, is still letting us know that maybe you are starting to adapt and maybe start you need to adapt and start a accepting things for change okay virgo all right let's go ahead and keep pushing and see what else that we have spirit guys in the universe what else do we have for virgo sun moon rising north node and venus what else do we have for virgo sun moon rising north node and venus what are some of the challenges thank you spirit all right Sorry about that, Virgo. Okay. Now, again, with the with the ace, ace with this new opportunity, right? And even though it may be uh, someone trying to over control you, or maybe you trying to over control the thought and maybe not put action in this, or because it's something you cannot avoid this, okay? Because it may be something you be uh, maybe avoiding, even though you are flowing, Virgo. But I feel like the way that you are flowing, you going back to like in your old way. Spirit woman to let you know for this new opportunity to come to you, you have to step out into the un known, okay? Even though things may not be balanced for you, okay? Because we got the two of cups basically being in reverse. But not only that, uh, you need to trust your judgment on what's going on and start to see the light and recovery of everything that's going on. You got to know, you got to see this clearly and make a valid, valid decision, Virgo, even when it comes to your life right now with this two of, uh, two of pentacles, okay? You uh, About you adapting towards your change. Even though it may be stressful, it may show a little concerns and you may feel a little doubtful about the whole matter. Spirit want me to let you know that you need to turn around and realize it's a need for it's a new day awakes a dawn for a new day so maybe you need to start in the morning start doing um meditations in the morning start doing uh you know, affirmations in the morning and not only that virgo i feel like also you need to be more wild and free and just be free for a minute just be happy and i feel like right now maybe family and friends are not supporting you the way that you need to be supported but i feel like also virgo now i break it down like this even though a new dawn away you still need to be free go ahead and look within yourself and find that inner you and just be free as you need to be okay now i also feel like virgo again your family Family and tribe right now might not be for you right now, okay? Somebody may not be supporting you the way that you want to be supported in this journey that you're in. It's okay, Virgo. Maybe a job may not be giving you the opportunity like you would like, Virgo, okay? That's all right. So again, the challenge is with the Ace of Pentacles, we got to understand that with this new opportunity that awaits for you, this new blessing, this new walk, this new path, that you got to step out and be free and let universe just do it for you, okay, Virgo? Ago, that's just the best way how to say it. Uh, I feel like even right now, just on a side note, I feel like the energy is shifting for you, Virgo. So again, grounding can be very, very important for you, okay? Not only that, Virgo, I feel like some of you may be stressed. Don't worry about this stress. Move on for the ho for the hopeful. You got to be more optimistic, okay, Virgo? Not only being optimistic, I feel like right now, because the energy is feeling real heavy. 
So whatever burdens that you have, Virgo, pray to the universe on it and ask God to, and, uh, to lead you accordingly the way that it needs to go through and, and tell your spirit guides to turn around and do the work. That's what they're there for you for, to guide and to work for you through the other realms uh, so you can get whatever come down for you. Okay, Virgo? Not only that, let's go ahead and see what we got for guidance. Okay? Thank you, Spirit, for this. We got the food card. So I feel like Spirit want me to tell you it's time for you to be more optimistic. You just got to live life. Take that leap of faith. Whatever it is, it don't hurt to just do it. We'll stop being so analytical, Virgo. Just do it. Even though things may seem like they boring, even though things may seem slow and it's not going to spirit woman to tell you, go fulfill your happiness. Do it. Uh, go, go be happy. Happiness awaits for you. Joy is coming for you. You're going to see whatever you're looking for coming in full stability and contentment for you. But now you got to turn around and do some healing, okay? We got the star card basically being all right. You got to heal. You got to start making that sacrifice so you can get everything going the way you need to do. You got to get rid of them parasites, okay? You got to get rid of them old friends. You got If they're not there for you and they're not there uh, on your highest lane or high, highest level, it's time, time to not just let them go and cut them my Virgo, but it's time for you to focus on you for a minute. You've been focusing on you this long. If you got to go back in for a little minute, go back in and focus on you, okay? Not only that, if you are dealing with a partner, I feel like, I say, I feel like if you even dealing with a partner, Virgo, that even though the choices may mess with your emotions a little bit, and even though mentally it goes through up and down, that's part of life, okay? But you got to start being more carefree. Don't let the energy be flat and stuck for you. Again, with the Knight of Cups basically being in reverse, uh, you can't be disappointed about no love or nothing like that because happiness awaits for you and it's coming in for you. Not only that, with the Knight of Swords, it's also just letting us know as well that even some news is coming in, but you got to be have that overwhelming idea and that overwhelming strength right now to go through the healing and go through the process of everything that's going on okay you may need to sacrifice and do some fasting for a minute but you need to lift your vibrations up and i feel like it's coming with this new creative sp spark uh not this new starting point that you're on virgo okay so really not only that virgo i also feel like spirit Spirit woman to let you know, have courage, okay? So I feel like this reading basically all dealing with you. This is really not dealing with a, a partner on this one, which is totally different and it's totally weird, but it's kind of kind of totally cool. But it's not, it's just like Virgo, you got to hope for the change. Start, keep seeing the truth, get rid of them parasites. And when I say parasites, people that's uh, in, uh, energetically draining you or any foods that's making you lazy or anything like that. Start learning more about what's good for you. Start eating fruits and uh Start drink, uh, drinking more water. Start getting some of your sunlight. Uh, so do your exercises. Uh, make sure you do affirmations and write down. It's okay to read. Do all these things, and it's going to come to you. So, again, when it comes down to that situation, even though you're starting changing for the whole thing, you've been doing it, and it's beautiful, okay? Spirit woman to tell you, expand your horizons and dream of what you want, okay? Because we got dreams, so messages and dreams. And But look at this, though. This can be very significant for us as well. Look up the lion and look up the tiger. You see, look up the cat. Cat is what you need to look look up, okay? Because we got two exotic animals, Virgo. So I feel like the choices that you are taking is very exotic for you. So it's time to take that exotic leap of faith. Go have some fun for a minute. Go rejuvenate yourself, Virgo, because that's the whole point of what's going on in life. Sometimes we work so hard, we don't even have time for ourselves. So Spirit want me to tell you, you have time for yourself, okay, Virgo? It's time for it. Not only that, you may need to do some work uh, on Crown Chakra. Start looking up what Crown Chakra is. And let's go ahead and get a mudra for the day. And this is going to be contemplation, okay? This is 32. So I feel like the, when you expand and be more intuitive in the choices that you make, this will probably help you out in that as well, okay? It's kind of... Mm. We're just going to say contemplation, okay? Now, this helps you in integration, balance, and meditation. Uh, it enhances full body uh, balance and health. Supports full yogi breath. Allows the effortless meditation. This is how you do it. Place the left hand in the left palm facing up. Lay the back of the right hand onto the fingers of the left hand. Bend the index fingers and align them at the first and second joints. Lightly touch the tips of both index fingers to the top 
of the thumbs. Relax the shoulders and lift in the spine. But this is what we focus on, Virgo, seriously. This is what we focus on. My mind and body rest in effortless contemplation. My mind and body rest in effortless contemplation. Okay, Virgo. Now, even though things may not be feeling the way that it normally feels for you, Virgo, sit down and start doing, write down some goals that you need to do. Start doing a little bit more affirmations and just relax. Uh, slow baby steps is the best steps for you being more positive and progressive but remember for this new opportunity you got to be optimistic and carefree you just got to take that leap of faith and just do it okay even though it may be challenging um spirit just want to say don't be logical Le uh walk by faith not by sight that's the best way to say it so with that basically being said let me go on and close it out for us Peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. If it resonated for you, hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Now, also, if you want a general reading, this is, it's in the description box below. Turn around and text. Do not email. Uh, text me. And the number's below. And when you do that, and we can go further into that, but my, my prices are listed below as well. So, again, peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. I just want to say I love you. God love you. The universe definitely love you. Just make sure you love yourself, Virgo, because that's the most important thing that I can ask for from you, okay, baby? Peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. So I'll see you to the next time. Namaste.